Hi, this is Thomas from AP Skim Tools. In this video, we'll be looking at actions in Apex Utility AI. Now, an action represents an action uh, carried out by either the unit or the AI itself. So this could be uh, singing, shooting, moving, scanning for enemies, uh, and so forth. Whether or not an action is uh, executed um, is governed by the qualifiers. So when a qualifier is selected, its action is also selected and eventually executed. So there's a one-to-one -one relationship between a qualifier and its action, as you can see here. A qualifier has an action. A qualifier can also have no action, uh, which basically represents a null action uh, or an idle action doing nothing. Now there are three different uh, base types of actions. Um, there are simple actions, which just represent uh, a single thing to do. In the selected case here, this is a reload action where uh, the unit will reload its weapon. The next one is a composite action. Um, composite action is basically an action uh, which contains other actions as we can see here, we have an action that is actually three actions in sequence. So this action will, these actions will then be executed. First it will stop patrolling, it will then stop movement, and it will start firing. And finally we have what is called an action with options, um, which is an action that will execute its action um, based on a number of options. Uh, this is actually a composite again, um, with one of them being an action with options. Uh, as you can see, we have some scores in here, and these will then score some different options for the action so that it can carry out its action on the highest scoring uh, element. We have another example here of a um, an action with options. This is actually an action with options itself. It's not a composite. So as you can see, it simply contains a list of scores. Um, that it uses to score the options, in this case for best attack target, uh, so that it can select the proper target to attack. As with qualifiers and selectors, uh, attack, uh, sorry, uh, actions also have a context menu. Um, it's quite limited. It has just the change type, so you can change uh, types uh, from one action type to another if you have uh, selected the wrong action for a qualifier. You can, of course, also simply remove an action and replace it with something else. To replace it, the easiest way is to actually right-click on the qualifier and say Replace Action. So that's it for the uh, editor. Let's have a look at how you can implement your own actions in code. So first we have the um, simplest form which is just uh, an action that does one thing. What it does, obviously, is up to you. You can implement whatever you want inside of its execute method. Um, to create an action, you derive from the action base class. And similarly to what has been explained in previous videos, um, these types have different... Uh, th there's also a generic type uh, for this, um, where you get the concrete uh, context directly to the execute method. And there is also an interface that you can implement directly. So, um, as you can see, it has one method you need to override. It's called execute, and it is given the context so that the action can execute based on the state of affairs in the world right now. Um, as, again, with others, when you use this uh, generalized version with the AI, AI context, you will need to cast it to a concrete context in order to use the context. Now, some actions uh, actually start something up, uh, and then they will want to be notified when some other action is selected. If that is the case for your action, um, you need to implement an interface called I require uh, termination and it has a single method called terminate which allows you to terminate the ongoing action um, when another action is selected. 
The next type of action we mentioned was the composite action. Now this is already implemented, so this is not something you will usually derive from because it is already there. Uh, it simply uh, contains a number of other actions which it then executes. So you don't usually create your own types of composite actions. So the next thing we're going to look at is an example of an action with options. As explained, the action with options um, is given a number of different options to choose from in order to execute it, its action. So for instance, if it is a move action, you will likely have a number of possible spots to move to, and you need to select the best one in the current situation. And the same goes for attack targets and any th other thing, food types, whatever. So to create an action with options, you derive from action with options, and it is a generic type. As you can see, it takes a type argument, which is the type of option that you want to evaluate. In this case, it is a move action, so it takes a number of vector threes, representing the positions that it can move to, so that it can select the best one from these. It has the same uh, method to implement, called execute, and then it implements or it provides a few methods that will allow you um, to score uh, the different options. One of these methods, as you can see, is implemented here. It's called get best. It takes the context and then it takes a list of whatever type of option this action with options. Um, refers to. So this is the vector 3, so this one will take a list of vector 3's. In our case, the example context included um, with the example project of the AI has a sampled positions list where the unit has sampled positions that it can move to, and this one will simply um, get the best of these. So what are the best? Well, the best are then determined by scores, which we'll get to in just a second. Now there is another option. Um, it has another overload. Oh, it has another uh, method that it exposes um, called get all scores. This will, instead of doing uh, its scoring by uh, the default method, which will be um, to return whatever position received the highest score, you can get a list of all of the different uh, options um, with their score and then you can select between them yourself using some other logic than simply highest score wins. Obviously to finalize this action we would actually need to move to this best position by calling um, some type of movement script here. It could be Apex Path Move To, or it could be a null mesh implementation, or it could be anything that moves the unit. So let's move on to look at the option scores that actually do the scoring of these. An option score can derive uh, from various uh, things, but usually you will derive it from the option score base. Um, again, it takes the type argument that is the option it needs to score, and it implements a score method very similarly to everything else. This one, though, takes a second argument, which is the option to score. So this, in our example, is given a vector 3, and it will then need to score that uh, in relation to the context. So for a move script, probably one score would be how close am I to this point, and then using the context it would get a reference to the unit itself and measure the distance between the unit and the proposed uh, location and then it would return a score based on that and then there would be other scores that would score uh, the position based on different criteria and together all of these scores combined will then result in one score for the data point which is then selected by in the case of get best, it will select the highest scoring option and it will use that for the action. So that's, that's it for now. We have now covered all the uh, three different elements in the Apex Utility AI and I will see you in the next video.